Isn't it interesting to go back and to look back to those memories back then? With camera, everything is possible. We can always go back through those times. Until now, with the new normal, we can all be connected because of camera. Oh, do you get my point? My only point is without cameras, we are not gonna be able to look back to this kind of memories. Camera and photography really played a big role, especially for ourselves. We are not able to post ourselves on social media and to get the chance to see ourselves through pictures and videos or selfies like this. And throughout the years, photography or camera really played a big role in our media. For our society, it serves as a proof of videos about our history that is a basis right now especially for the upcoming election and also right now the new normal we are able to connect with ourselves through video calls with the use of photography or camera so if you are interested in knowing more about the camera on how it is invented who invented it what are the materials that made up the camera and how it works please keep on watching Camera is an optical instrument that captures a visual image. It is a device for recording an image of an object on a light-sensitive surface. Though there are many types of cameras, all include indispensable components. First is the camera box. It holds and protects sensitive films from all lights. Here it is. Second is film. It is a light-sensitive strip usually wound on a spool as successive pictures are taken. Third is the light control. It consists of an aperture and a shutter. Both are often adjustable. Next are the lens, which focuses the light rays from the subject. Lastly is the viewing system. It operates through by means of a mirror. The earliest camera was the camera obscura, which was adapted to making a permanent image from Joseph Nisiphor Nips and Louis Jacques Mandi Tagure of France, 1820s and 1830s. Did you know that the word camera comes from the camera obscura, which means dark chamber? It is a Latin name of the original device for projecting an image of external reality onto a flat surface. Many improvements follow in the 19th century. Notably, flexible film developed for many different purposes like area photography, document copying, and scientific research. Did you know cameras evolved from the camera obscura through many generations of photographic technology, color types, dry plates, film, up to now, the modern day, digital and camera phones. Nowadays, the main purpose of camera is photography. These are the different types of photography cameras. The SLR cameras, mirrorless cameras, film cameras are also instant cameras, smartphone cameras, compact cameras, bridge cameras, 360 cameras, action cameras, medium format cameras. The basic technology that makes all of this possible is fairly simple. The camera is made of three basic elements. Number one is the optical element, which is the lens. Number two is the chemical element, which is the film. And lastly, it's the mechanical element, which is the camera body itself. The optical component of a camera is the lens. At its simplest, a lens is just a curved piece of glass or plastic. Its job is to take the beams of light bouncing off of an object and redirect them so they can come together to form a real image. How can a piece of glass do this? The process is actually very simple. As light travels from one medium to another, it changes speed. Light travels more quickly through air than it does through glass, so a lens slows it down. Science, recreation, and educational societies have all benefited from the use and development of cameras.